what is a key gauge, how to use it, and what you need to know to protect yourself from criminals. A key gauge is a locksmithing tool used to decode the cut depths of a key to get a bidding code or key code for a specific type of key used for pin tumbler type locks. The bidding code allows you to do two things. One, you can use this code to make a duplicate key. Or two, you can use the bidding code to repin a lock so you can use a different key. The bidding code tells you what size pins you need for replacing the key pins in a lock. To decode a Schlage key, you need a Schlage key gauge. In other words, you need the correct key gauge for the type of key you want to decode. I have two key gauges here. This one is a Schlage key gauge, and this one is for quick set keys. I also have a 4-in-1 key gauge for quick set, Schlage, Weiser, and Westlock. These are the most common types of keys used for residential homes. If you look at this Schlage key on the left, it is a blank key that has not been cut yet. The key on the right is also a Schlage, and it has been cut for a particular lock. Notice it has five cuts on it. You can tell it has five cuts, and they are usually measured at the lowest point of each cut. The first cut is the one closest to the shoulder of the key. Before I show you how to use the gauge, let's take a quick look at some key depth and spacing charts for various types of keys. This is a great website that gives you charts for just about all the types of keys you can think of for pin tumbler type locks. These charts tell you the specific measurements for the various cut depths, bidding code number, and cut spacing measurements used by the different key types. For Schleg, it shows each code number, the cut depths, and spacing in fractions of an inch. This is valuable information used by locksmiths and is also helpful when using key gauges. I also put a link in the description for this website. First you want to hold the key gauge like so. Take your key, note the first cut, which is the furthest to the right, nearest the shoulder. Line up that first cut with the upper edge of the opening. Insert the key to the widest part here. Line up the first cut on top. And then you want to slide it down as much as you can to the narrowest part of the gauge and kind of wiggle it and it's not going any further. It has stopped. Note it stopped on number two. That is the first code for cut number one. Do the same for cut number two, three, four, and five. The next cut. It stops at number seven. Go to cut number three. Wiggle it down as far as you can. It stops at number seven again. Cut number The next cut is cut number four. Stops at number two. Cut number five. It doesn't go any further. It stops at number three.
So the bidding code for this key is 27723. This is an actual Schlage cut key made by Schlage. And Schlage usually stamps the bidding code on the key. And if you look at the stamping, it says 27723, which matches the bidding code that we determined from the key gauge. Remember I mentioned that the lowest point on a cut is usually where you measure it? Well, if you look at this key, I count five cuts for this key, but it actually has six cuts on this key. This is a Schleg SC4 six pin key. Cut number four does not have a cut that you can actually see. Cut number four should be here somewhere. The chart says that cut number four should be 0 0.699 inches from the shoulder of the key. I have my caliper set to 0 0.699 inches and it shows the cut should be right about here. If you use the key gauge at this point, the code should either be three or four. It's kind of hard to tell. Use the lower code number three first to be safe if you are cutting a key because you cannot go back and add metal back to the key after cutting it. Or if you are repinning a cylinder to use a different key, you can pin it up with one of the codes, three or four, and see if they work. If not, use the other pin number. Sometimes locksmithing requires trial and error. Keys are used for security and keys are like passwords and they must be protected. If a criminal has your keys, they have access to your stuff. Remember I said that a key gauge will decode a key and give you the bidding code that can be used to make a duplicate key without having the original. I also said earlier that some keys, such as factory cut keys from Schlage, has the bidding code stamped on the key. This makes it even easier for criminals to get a copy of your keys. So my advice to you, for your protection, you should never leave your keys unattended in public or at work or somewhere where strangers may have access to your keys. With practice, a key can be decoded in just a few seconds. And if you have any keys with the bidding code stamped on it, criminals just need to memorize the code or take a picture of it with their phone and they got your keys. You can use a grinder to remove the code or take the key to a hardware store or a locksmith and they can make a new key for you that does not have a code stamped on it. Now you know what a key gauge is and how to use it. Most importantly, never leave your keys unattended. If you found this video helpful, please like this video and subscribe if you would like to see more of my videos. And have a great day!